hello and welcome to Jive Talking with me, Disco Dan. On today's episode, we'll be taking a look back at the action from Hucknall and Beeston from last weekend. So let's get things started with Hucknall on Friday, the 13th of October. The action kicked off with a tag team match as the team of Joseph Starr and Kyle Crimson took on Davy Thompson and Kobe Woods. Kyle Crimson looked to be closing in on the victory as he set Kobe up for a bull hammer elbow, but Kobe ducked, tripped up Kyle and covered him to pick up the win for the team. Up next, it was the House of Pain heavyweight champion Grayson Clay who issued an open challenge to anyone on the House of Pain roster who isn't Alton Thorne. Alton Thorne came out and claimed that Grayson was scared of him, but introduced Grayson's opponent for the night, the powerhouse punk Mikey McLovin. Mikey put up one hell of a fight, but the newcomer was outsmarted by Grayson Clay, who left the ring to be chased by Mikey. And as Mikey was coming back in the ring, Grayson hit a vicious DDT to pick up the win. Alton Thorne was in action next as he went one-on-one -on -one with the firm's pride of Yorkshire, Johnny Sharp with the firm's Joey Cement acting as the special guest referee. Johnny tried to buddy up with Joey at the start of the match, but Joey informed him that he was going to call it right down the middle. As the match went on, Johnny distracted Joey by pulling one of the turnbuckle covers down and then grabbed his cane ready to hit Alton Thorne with it but Joey noticed this, stopped him from using the cane, which allowed Johnny to walk straight into Alton Thorne's spinning sidewalk slam for Alton Thorne to pick up the win. After the match, Johnny Sharp was not happy and hit Alton Thorne in the back of the head with his cane as Joey checked on Alton as he got up and turned round into a shot from the cane from Johnny Sharp himself. It seems that the issues with the firm have come to a boiling point as Johnny Sharp has now attacked both Spike and Joey Cement with his cane. After the interval, the House of Pain Full Throttle Championship was on the line as Pinky the Pirate defended the title in a triple threat match against Oscar Prospero and Indigo Jones. After a very fast-paced match, Indigo and Oscar hit a double superplex on Pinky the Pirate and both of them covered him to score the win, which means we don't have one but two new full throttle co-champions in Indigo Jones and Oscar Prospero. What does this mean for the Full Throttle Championship going forward? In the main event of the evening, it was a six-man Halloween Rules street fight, which meant all Halloween-related weapons were legal. It was Mr. Number One, Niall Hind, teaming up with Mr. USA, Lance Flashman, and House of Pain's resident gangster, Jaden Law, to take on the team of myself, Rave Boy, and Mr. Rock and Roll, Johnny Sterling. As the match went on, it came down to Jaden Law and Johnny Sterling, where Jaden threatened to powerbomb Johnny onto some sweets. Jaden didn't realise that myself and Rave Boy had recovered and were in the ring and he turned round to be taken out by both myself and Rave Boy, and we then teamed up with Johnny to hit a triple powerbomb on Jaden to pick up the win. 
Moving on to Beeston now on Saturday, the 14th of October. The show kicked off with the House of Pain Tag Team Championship on the line as two of the three kings, Owen Ocean and Mike Angelo, defended the titles against Team Firestorm of Marley Hayden and Rayner. And it was Marley and Rayner picking up the win to become the new House of Pain Tag Team Champions. The former House of Pain heavyweight champion Brad Matthews came out to the ring next on a crutch to announce that he has torn his ACL and requires surgery and will be out of action for 9 to 12 months. I do wish Brad a speedy recovery and cannot wait to see him back in House of Pain next year. Brad did say that he's not waiting up to a year to get his hands on Grayson Clay after he screwed him out of the title last month and called him out to the ring. Grayson came out to the ring and took Brad Matthews' crutch and told him that what he did last month was purely business. Grayson then threatened to attack Brad Matthews, but Big Mike Wilde came out to the ring and chased Grayson Clay to the back. It was six-man tag team action next as Team Textbooks Dave Brakes and Kyle Crimson teamed up with Joseph Starr to take on Nate Colt, Jerry Jarvis and Zach Roberts. It was Dave Brakes picking up the win over Nate Colt in the match. However, after the match, Nate challenged Dave Brakes for the Heritage Championship next month in Beeston. Dave Brakes refused to accept the challenge. So, will we see Nate versus Dave next month for the House of Pain Heritage Championship? Big Mike Wilde came back to the ring next and called out the House of Pain heavyweight champion Grayson Clay and Grayson came out and said he wasn't interested in facing Big Mike Wilde and brought out Mike's opponent for the night, the firm's pride of Yorkshire, Johnny Sharp. Johnny found out what it's like when you face an angry giant and was decimated by Big Mike Wilde, who picked up the win following a razor's edge. It was a mixed tag team match next as the House of Pain women's champion Lexi Olivia teamed up with the main spectacle Tristan Wheeler to take on the team of Pinky the Pirate and the heavy hitter Harley Harris. And it was Tristan and Lexi picking up the win. In the main event of the evening, it was an I quit match as the monster Matlock took on the man he has defeated for the past two months in Beeston, Davy Thompson. These two had an absolute war, putting each other through tables, hitting each other with trash cans and all sorts of other weapons. The match came to an end when Davy tried to make Matlock say I quit with a crossface, but Matlock refused to quit. Davy then took a leather strap, wrapped it around Matlock's throat and choked him until the monster said I quit, meaning that the winner was Davy Thompson. Well, that is all I do have time for today. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like the video, share the video, leave a comment below, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time for some more Jive Talking.